Wait a minute, you know AI is here, um, yesterday we saw that announcement about ChatGPT 4.0 uh, that's coming and we're so excited about it because it can do a lot of things like it, it can write code, it can do help you debugging it, it can solve some mathematical problems and it can make games, it can do whatever you want to do. So is actually this a good news or a bad news specifically for game developers? Uh, to answer this question, I have this calculator here and this can do the calculations, you know, like if I want to multiply 256 multiplied by 512, the result would be pretty difficult to find out if I want to do it by board or somewhere in the paper. It will be pretty difficult for me to find it and it will take a lot of time, like I'm not that good at math, math so it will take like around 10 minutes for me. But this can do it in one second. That's the result. It will give me the result in less than one second. So that, that's how calculator can do calculations and it has never replaced any mathematician. It just do my work faster for me. It cannot do work by itself. Like it cannot multiply those things. Even if it can, it doesn't mean anything to do it for him. So AI yeah, can do all these things. That is a good news because it can do cannot do it for itself. It is doing it for us. And AI, where is AI? It is in our computers, and that's completely free. We can use it for whatever reason we want. So let's say that is a very good news for us. And in this video, uh, I'll talk about five uh, new five things that you can use uh, AI that will help you make your game development works faster uh, right now like today you can start using them from today and they will help you make your projects faster and faster so but at the end of this video i'll ask ai as well so what's uh, her idea about these things how they can help us uh, developing games but first it's my idea so the first thing is uh, automative code generation so uh, you can see AI or this chat GPT thing they can generate code for us so if you're worrying or if you some of the things you don't know to write how to write the code or for whatever reason it takes long time from you to write because specifically for me it takes a lot a lot of time to write that code uh, so why shouldn't I ask uh, ChatGPT? Hey ChatGPT, I just want to create a character class in Unreal Engine, and I already have it. Just I want to add some movement functionality. I want him to move like forward, backward, around, and look around. Just to write this code for me and give it to me. So ChatGPT will write it just in some seconds, and then I can easily use it. If I would want to do that, it will take me like at least. Uh, 10 to 15 minutes uh, to write all those movement functions and anything else you want you can ask ChatGPT Ch with some clear explanation hey ChatGPT I want to create this character and I want him to have a weapon class and in that weapon class I want something that uh, that class if I trigger a function uh, it should spawn a projectile and that projectile should be like a projectile it should go away so this it will do it for you and it will also tell you how you where you should copy the code and where you should paste it which classes you need to create that simple this is the first thing and very important one which can help you right now from today to make your works faster uh, to the things you were doing like in three four hours now you can do that in 15 minutes this is the second one uh, uh, that is about debugging so sometimes when i have some bug like a, even a small bug and finding bug in a lot of lines of code is pretty difficult you know like if you have uh, at least 500 lines of code in a file and you have a bug in there then finding it would be pretty difficult like you have to check it it is pretty difficult. So now, what you can do, you can copy the code and ask ChatGPT, "Hey, I have this bug in this code, and I'm not sure where did it come from." It will find it for you just in some seconds or even in minutes. Uh, the thing you will not be able to do in hours. So that is the second thing. And the third thing, which is the most important of all of them. Uh, that's not in ChatGPT. that is inside Unreal Engine. That is called Procedural Content Generator. And Unreal Engine 5 has this feature. Now you don't need an environment designer to make your world. You don't need to do all that stuff by yourself to place this tree in that place, make this path this way, bring these tools in this place. Ah, 
this is pretty pretty difficult and sometimes it could be boring as well because mm, just doing this repetitive work is not that simple procedural can change generator inside the real engine can help you make a big world just in few minutes that's it even if you're not uh, environment designer you can do it for yourself inside and real engine just in few minutes that's it and the fourth thing which is a good news uh, for game developers and also gamers tell now the npc characters or non-player characters inside the game they're not that much intelligence you know like we can predict what they are doing so that's why most of people do like that ai or npc characters inside mm, games but ai can help us make them better and unpredictable like human characters so when you're playing the game or when you're making the game anymore you will not need to worry about those npc characters or anyone is online or not so npc characters or non-player characters will also play the game same as humans unpredictable which is very important and the fifth one aren't the most important one so now you can write code faster means like you can write thousands of lines of code just in short time you don't need a lot of developers to do a big work so you can make a complete project inside a religion using c++ uh, in a short time you know like uh, just by yourself so that's the good news you can make environments you can make non pc characters you can find whatever problem you have in there in, in your game so it means like you can create a complete game by yourself including its environment design including its programming including whatever you want all for free using chat gpt and unreal engine and c plus plus all of them are free you don't need to pay anything just to do it and if you have any problem, you can ask ChatGPT to help you. It will just tell you how you can do these things. It will teach you as well. Just watch this video. ChatGPT can teach you as well. You can learn from them. You don't need any uh, instructor anymore, teacher anymore that you should ask him, hey, uh, I want to learn this thing. No, ChatGPT can do that for you in your home for free. So what's more important? That is idea. You don't have an idea which kind of game you want to create. So just ask ChatGPT. Hey ChatGPT, give me some ideas. I want to create a video game. And what do you think? What is good for people right now? Or which type of games people like these days? It will give you a lot of ideas. You can choose one idea, and then you can start making your project from today, which is amazing. I'm excited about it. We can do a lot of cool things with this AI thing. It will help us a lot. It will help improve our works a lot. Like this calculator did it. Uh, we don't need to do those addition and things and papers and whiteboards anymore. We just ask him and it will do it for us in just in one second or something like that. This AI can do that complex calculations for us just in a short time. So what are you waiting for? Just start it now. You don't have an idea? Ask ChatGPT. You don't know coding? Ask ChatGPT. You don't have any money? Oh, you can download Unreal Engine for free and use ChatGPT for free. What else do you need? Do you have a, do you want to make an excuse right now no you don't need to uh, make an excuse because if you think that you cannot learn these things from chat gpt then you can find my courses down there in the links or you can write anything in the comment i'll make a video on that and that you can learn it for free that as well what else do you need just subscribe to the channel and i'll be here again with some more videos ideas news I'll see you again.